productive are you? If you're having trouble fitting things into your calendar or find yourself at the end of the day that you haven't accomplished everything, I have something called the Setup Hack that's going to help you out. How's it going, reinventors? My name is Amelia Sims. This is Reinventing You, the channel where you can be inspired to take your own reinventing journey so that you can live a life of joy, fulfillment, and purpose. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and click on the bell notification so when I post twice a week, you'll know when to watch. My videos lately seem to be on getting things done, productivity or something. I don't know, maybe that must be the thing for the fall when I'm now taping, but I realized that I am not as productive as I like to be, and that realization came recently when I read a book and did a video on 168 hours you have more time and than you think, and that video is up here. If you haven't checked it out, please do so. Laura Vanderkam wants us to use our time wisely, and when I was really looking at my time and trying to calendar block and trying to use my 168 hours wisely, I realized things took a lot longer than I think they're going to take. So what can you do if things take longer than you really think they're going to take? What's going on with that? Now, part of that could be like me. You can't estimate very well how long things take. But I think another problem is we don't give enough time for the setup. Here's an example. If you're going to fix a recipe, perhaps it's something that is new for you to fix, you've never fixed it before, then you're going to look at the recipe and you're going to start finding out, if, first of all, if you have the ingredients and if you have the ingredients to get them out and get them ready for cooking. My husband is really good about this. If he's cooking supper for the evening and the morning, he will actually get out whatever ingredients that don't have to be refrigerated or frozen until cooking, and he will have those out with the recipe. So he's gotten the setup. You could do the same thing. If you're going to cook a recipe, you get all the ingredients, including all of the pans and pots and everything that you're going to need, and you may even turn on the oven to get that ready as well. That's the setup. That way, when you are about to cook, you have everything right there that you need and you don't have to go looking for it and spending extra time. Have you ever done that? You sat down to cook something and all of a sudden you realize, oh, I don't have any butter. I got to go get some butter. Oh, I don't have any salt. I got to go back to the pantry and get salt. And that just takes a long time where if you set it up beforehand, you can stand in front of the pantry and get all your spices and all your canned goods and everything and have that all at one time. Now setup can also include what I would call the cleanup. <laughs> in other words, when you're cooking a recipe, there's cooking, but there's also the cleaning up as you go or right after you've cooked. I'm really bad when I clean. I use every dish in the house and I tend to leave it all to the last minute and then clean it up. Some people clean as they go along, but it's good to plan in your schedule the cleanup. So the setup, and the cleanup. I know you're all thinking, what the heck does that have to do with anything, Amelia? Here's the deal. No matter what in your daily schedule, you need to plan for the setup and the cleanup. Now, I did not get the idea of the setup hack like myself. It's not something that I came up with. I actually heard about the setup hack from another YouTuber whose name is Aaron May Henry. And if you want to see that video that I watched, it's right up here. It's a very short video, but I found it very helpful. And I realized that not only do you need the setup, but you also need the cleanup. It's like if you want to start exercising and you want to exercise first thing in the morning, well, if you have your exercise clothes and your water bottle there right by the bed, then as soon as you get up, you can change clothes clothes, do your business, and then get out the door and go for your run or your walk. That's the kind of setup you need to be incorporating into your schedule so that everything you do, you have time for your setup and, I think, time for your cleanup. Now, Erin May Henry didn't say anything about cleanup, but I think that's also very true. I want to give you an example just with this vlog. If I'm going to be recording vlogs, then I've got to have a setup. That setup includes clothes, makeup, hair, lights, camera. Is my battery charged on both the lights and the camera? Is 
my is there room on the memory card do i do i have some kind of script or outline that i'm following do i even know what i'm saying or what the title of the videos are going to be those are all part of the setup and i have to schedule those when i'm looking at my whole time i can say well i can probably video two videos within an hour well that's fine but it's going to take another hour to get all of those other things done as well that's what I mean by setup. And I have cleanup too. When I'm doing my vlog, when I'm done, the camera goes off. Well, I've still got to put up the light. I've got to turn everything off. I've got to put everything back before I can even sit down and think about editing. Now, I have to admit, there have been times where I've been, you know, last minute, I've left everything out. It's really not good. The cats knock them down. They collect dust. All those things is not a really good plan. So when you're doing your schedule, when you're working your schedule, no matter what it is, make sure you have a setup and a cleanup incorporated into your time. And that way you won't find yourself at the end of the day saying, I never finished that, or I didn't get that done, or I still have to clean up from whatever activity I did. This is going to help you be more productive. Do you think the setup hack or the cleanup hack is gonna help you if you think so, one or the other? In the comments below, type in setup, or clean up and that way I know that you think these ideas are going to help you be more productive. As I've said before, you know the drill. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. Give me a thumbs up so that I know that you're still watching. And as always, please check this video out if you need more productivity ha hacks. And how about this video up here? Have a great one.